Hey, how's it going? So we're going to be doing the hacker rank uh, two characters, right? So the first thing you do is we're going to break this string into unique characters. So the way we do that is we create a new set, right? Out of this, um, we convert it into an array, we create a set out of it that gives us the um, unique characters. And then we're going to create two by two. Um, two for loops, which will give us kind of like a little miniaturized hash table, right? Well, not hash table, but I mean a, a table, basically. So this is going to be our element one. And this is going to be element two. We, we will do... This will be I, and this will be J. So you can imagine like four loops, right? So the first thing we do, we have, now we have element one, which is a B, right? Actually, this probably should be element two, honestly. Element two. And this is going to be element one. Yeah. So element one is now B. Right, so element one is B. Element two can be either B, E, A, F, right? So it's going to go through element one is equal to B, then element two is equal to B, E, A, F, right? What we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to convert it into a array, right? And then what we're going to do we're gonna take this array and filter use filter any letter that well we're gonna return only letters that are equal to either element one or element two and then we're gonna remove the rest so this will so you can imagine right if we have um let me just type this out b e a b E, E, F, E, A, B. Right, so our, our first function is going to do the following. Right, so element 1 is equal to B. Element 2 is equal to B. Right, so what is it going to return on first iteration? So B, does is E equal to any of them? No, skip. Equal to any one of them, skip, return B. Um, no, 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 return B. So that's going to be our first string, right? Which is not very valid, but okay. Next, so B is still element is B. Now we move to element two is now being E, right? So now it goes, is it equal to B? Yes. Is it equal to B or E? Yes. Is it equal to B or E? No. Skip is it equal to B or E, right? skip skip right that's going to be our next one right then it's going to be element two is now a so is it equal to b or a yes is it equal to b or a no is it equal to b or a b you, you get the idea right so that's how it's going to iterate right so this will give us every possible combination of this string um, like every possible combination of letters that can be made out of two characters because what we need is we need basically to snip out two characters from here and create every possible combination from this string and that's exactly what the filter function is going to do so let us write this code first and then um, Okay, so let unique characters equal to probably like this new set array from S. Okay.
So now we snipped out all the unique characters. So we've done the part one. Now we need to get this array going. So element J and element I. So two by two array, right? So now we are going to create for loop for variable I equal to zero. I is unique character that length I plus plus. And of for loop I, okay. So immediately we can create element let element one. You can call this whatever you want. I just call them elements because when I use map, most people call them elements. So that's what I do. So we're going to have unique character I, right? Now you can see that we have now created our. Whoopsie, wrong one. You know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just flip, flip between them. Yeah. So we have now created our I. So the element one is equal to B E A F. So there it is, right? B E A F. Next thing we need to create the other for loop, right? For variable j equals zero, j smaller than unique characters that length, j plus plus. And of for loop j, let element two equals unique character j, right? So now we're going to have uh, the other thing going, right? So we have element one is equal to B and then element two is going to be equal to B E A F. Then element one is equal to E element two is equal to B E A A F, right? So that's how we, that's how we extract elements, right? Element one and element two. All right, so now this is done. What we want to do probably is create a let s array. So we want to convert this string into an array. So array dot from s, right? We want to console log it so you'll be able to see it. So now we converted the string into the array. And we can probably have just for visual purposes we want to have final uh, array where we're gonna push valid strings so let's just say valid strings now this is completely not needed but i do it just so you can visually see what's happening okay so now let us um so now we have this um array which is made out of a string so now let us iterate through this array and snip out elements that do not equal to either element one or element two. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to do um, let temp equals s array filter. Okay, so now we are, if we're going to console log element in here, we are going through every single one of them. B, E, A, B, E, E, whatever, right? So we want to return one element. Now, this is something you have to probably call, I don't know, filtered element, right? So otherwise you might get confused. I'll just call it filtered element, right? So if filtered element equals to element one which is this one here or filtered element equals to element two okay so now if we look at our temp array it will have every single possible combination Mm. 
every single possible combination of strings that can be made out of two characters. So maybe you can probably see it in here. You see? Okay, so now we probably want to we want to join it, right? So we want to convert it into a string, right? So now you'll be able to see it, right? So now we have every single possible combination of um, letters that can be made from two characters out of this string, out of uh, this one here. Um, let me just reverse my console log uh, thingy. There you go. Okay, so our final step, our final step, right, is to further filter out. Yeah, so I need to explain that probably on the on the thing. Okay, so now we have like a gigantic list of. Um, all those strings right now what we want to do we want to use um, so we want to create a string like this BB AA right and we want to take every single one of those strings and filter out any element where one sec let me think how to explain this the best yeah so i don't know honestly how to explain it easier basically we're trying to filter out any string that has bb or a and aa in it right right so if index of AA, for example, and index of BB are all minus one, we want that string. We want it. Why? Because that means it has to consist of either BB or like BABA, -B -A, right? We just want that string. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so this will give us valid strings, right? This will give us valid strings. So now we do an if statement. If, right? If, and we're gonna be checking inside temp. Right, so we're going to be checking inside of this thing here. So if temp dot index of element one plus element one, remember we're just joining two strings together. So if element one is a, we plus a to it, it's going to be aa, right? Is equal to minus one, right? That means aa index is not found is not found right and temp index of element two plus element two now we're doing like bb for example uh, is equal to minus one then we want to console log this uh, string right you see so now it removed every single um, element where there is two consecutive letters in it, right? So if there was AA in it, it got removed. If there was BB in it, it got removed. Um, if there was EE in it, it got removed, right? And it only left us with what's viable, right? Now, naturally, what you can do is you can um, 
valid, but honestly, like valid strings that push temp, right? Now, honestly, this array here is going to be equal to what you see in here, right? So, I mean, is there really a point? Console log valid strings. Yeah, you see? You're basically looking at this thing here. So, honestly, we'll just remove it. It's a waste of time. I'm just going to console log it out. Um, yeah, so now we need to pick out the longest out of those um, remain what's remaining, right? So the, the easiest way to do it would be uh, let longest equal to zero, right? Now you can do an if statement, like if um, longest is smaller than temp dot length, longest equals to temp that length and that's it you can do it this way or you can do it like this is a lot faster you can do like this longest equals to math max so remember math max selects the biggest value so longest or temp dot length so math max is going to look at this and say uh, longest right now is zero so uh, temp length is now five so it's going to assign longest to be five and so forth right right now longest on the next iteration longest is five temp length is five it's going to keep it as five on next iteration longest is five and temp length is three so it's going to keep the longest as five because it's always selecting the highest value and then so forth right and then we're going to simply um, console log uh, longest just to make sure it's correct. And then we, that's what we're going to return. Return longest. That's it. That's about it. Now, there is one condition you need to put at the start. Otherwise, you're going to fail your test one. So if s dot length equals to one return zero I, th I think that's what they wanted us to do yeah i think so okay so now we need to get rid of console logs otherwise test can fail because it's too slow and then that's about it I think that should do it, right? All done. Take care.